so these are before and this is our after you can see that dark melanin skin too we already have it you can take this a little bit further if you want so you, you have to create another black and white adjustment layer again comes in the blend mode and changes to multiply so once it's on multiply hi everyone my name is Tony Victor welcome back to my youtube channel in this video I'm going to show you a quick way on how you can get that melanin skin to color grading so let's get started because i want to make the skin melanin i'm going to try and get rid of the reds in the image first so to remove the reds in the image the first thing i'll do i'll come to my adjustment layer down here but i have my adjustment layer up here so you can set a photoshop the way you want but if your adjustment layers are not up here all you have to do is come down here click on this um circle right here and you're going to see all your adjustments right here but i like putting my own up here for quick access so the first thing I'll do, I'll click on my selective color adjustment layer, which is this one right here. And because the skin tool consists of yellows and reds, I'm just going to work in on my yellows and on my reds. So for the reds, since I want to get rid of the reds, I'll just add science to this image. So I'll add a little bit of science to the image and you can see it's getting rid of the reds. Just look at the skin tone and you can see it's getting rid of the red. So I'll just, my, I'll just add a little bit of cyan as 13 because if I remove cyan from the image, I'll be adding red to the image. So I'll just add a little bit of cyan to the image. So I'll leave it in plus 8. And next I'm going to do, I'm going to remove um, blacks from the image. So I'll just minus blacks from the red like this, a little bit like this. And I'll remove yellows from the red a little bit like this. And for the magenta, I'll just remove a little bit of magenta. So if I'm removing magenta, I'm adding greens to the image. So I'll just add a little bit of greens to this image. So I'll, I think minus 2 is okay. Or minus 4. Then I'll come to my yellows. And I'll just add a little bit of science to my yellows as well. I'll come to my blacks. I'll minus, I'll minus and blacks from the yellows. I'll come to my yellows. I'll remove yellows from the yellows. And I'll just leave my magenta like that. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'll click on my black and white adjustment layer. So I'll just open up my black and white adjustment layer. I'll come to my mood. I'll change my blend moods to multiply. So once my blend mood is to multiply, I will reduce my flow, not my opacity. I will use I will reduce my flow to about I think 50 is okay. So I'll just reduce my flow to about 50. And you can see the before and the after. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'll come to my hue and saturation, and I'll come to my reds. I'll just reduce the saturations in the reds like this. And I'll come to my yellows. I'll reduce the saturations on the yellows as well like this. So next thing I'm going to do, I'll come to my color balance and for my mid tones, I'll just add a little bit of science to my mid tones. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. I'll just add a little bit of science to my mid tones like this. I think this one is okay. So let's see our before and after. So let me just group everything I just did in a group so you can see our before and after. So these are before and this is our after. You can see that dark melanin skin too we already have it you can take this a little bit further if you want so you, you have to create another black and white adjustment layer again comes in the blend mode and changes to multiply so once it's on multiply all you have to do is reduce your opacity this time so you can reduce your opacity to about 30 if you want to so i'll just reduce this one to about i think 17 is okay or 14. i'll just reduce it to about 11. I'll reduce it to level my opacity to level I'll click enter so these are before and these are after so you can decide to reduce the opacity of this group I just created if you want to if you feel it's too much you can just reduce the opacity a bit like this but I think it's okay like this so I'll just leave it like this and this is a bonus tip but before I give you that bonus tip if you've learned anything from this video so far I want you to hit on that like button so that more people can see this video and learn from this video so the bonus tip you can see our um because of the color grade we just did 
you can see the eyes the colors on the eyes are no longer the same and they are no longer bright they are no longer bright anymore so to fix that so all you have to do is come down to your layer mask and click on your layer mask since uh the layer mask is white you have to switch to your black brush make sure your brush is on black pick your normal brush too and reduce your flow to about 20 and just zoom in and now first of all brush on this lip i want to bring back some colors on the lips reduce your brush size or increase your brush size according to the place you want to brush so i just want to brush on the lips so i'm just going to do my brush size the way i want i just brush on the lips like this and bring back some colors back there and i want to do the same for the eyes so i just brush on the eyes like this to bring back some colors back on the eyes so i'll do the same thing for here and you can see if i turn off my mask this is the before and this is the after so you can see what that's done to this image so let me just zoom out so you can see so this is the before and this is the after so you can keep brushing and remove the colors from the place which you don't want but i think i like it like this so i'm just going to leave it like this the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to add brightness to the shadows area so look at my shadows area like a hair you can see they are a bit dark so i just want to add brightness to those areas and to do that all i have to do is come to my um i can use my curves i can use my levels but for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to be using my levels adjustment layer so i click on my levels adjustment layer so i'll just move these shadow sliders right here to my highlights and once i'm okay with the uh, brightness i'm having i'll stop so i think i'm okay like this and i'm just looking at my head don't, don't worry about the whole image what you should be focusing on is just the hair part this part right here that i want to brighten so once i'm okay with it all i have to do is invert my mask by clicking on ctrl i to invert so once i invert my mask i'll pick my brush too since my mask is on black i'll make sure my brush is set to white so i'll just switch my brush to white brush so by clicking on this icon right here i can switch my brush to white or black so i'll just switch it to white right now i can also use x on my keyboard to switch so i'll just click on x to switch between white and black so i want it to be on white so i'll just switch it so i'll just leave it like that so once it's on white i'll increase my brush size make sure my flow is on 50 or 82 so i just brush on those parts which i want to adjust which i want to make bright so i'll do it like this and let's see our before and after so these are before and these are after these are before and these are after if you feel it's too much you can reduce the opacity like this so these are before and these are after so i'm just going to group everything i just did and show you our overall before and after this is where we started from and this is where we are right now so this is how you get that melanin skin tone in photoshop i have more video about color grading and if you want to watch those videos i'll be leaving a link in the description below and also i'll be leaving a card up here so just click on that card and it will take you to those videos i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative